Shout out to the KJ fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? Yes, today we are trying the McRib, McDonald's McRib, mm -hmm. for the very first time. Yes, this looks so good. So good, you guys. <laughs> you guys, we're probably the only, well, I don't think we're the only people in the world that's never had it before. But We gotta be one of them, though. Yeah. We gotta be one of them. The thing is, normally, well, it is a seasonal item, of course, mm -hmm. um, so we constantly miss it. But the thing is, they don't always roll it out nationwide. So I've never really, I didn't even know it existed until like. The McRib? The McRib, maybe like three or four years ago. Really? I had no idea. No idea okay. existed. I've heard of it. It's been like this phantom thing. I know. But right? we, yeah, I would never had it. But mm -hmm. um, apparently it is a rib. Um, yep. It is a rib with some onions and pickles on it. Yep. And some barbecue sauce. Yeah, hold it up a little bit more one more time because the light's kind of bright. On like a really nice kind of soft bun. Yeah. Would you um, call this a hoagie? Sure, yeah. Why not? Like On a hoagie. <laughs> so we're going to see what all the hype is about. We're going to review it for you. Um, you either love this or you've never had it. Yep. Or maybe you did try it and you didn't like it. Who knows? I'm not sure. I think a lot of people like this. I though. think a lot of people do. The interesting thing, too, is... I got my sleeves. You know... We watched, you know, a couple of videos where people actually ate this, right? This is where we got the idea from. A lot of other um, mukbangers or just, you know, people, reviewers. Um, sorry. The sauce is always everywhere. Did you notice that? On the reviews. On the reviews. It's always it's messy. Saucy. It's yes. always messy. Which is cool, I guess. I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Thanks for, I'm glad you have yeah, Well, it's just so interesting because I'm like, no, my box, I'm like, man. I'm like, can they, like, it's do a little bit less? Yeah, no, that's part of the review. It is messy, for sure. Okay, you guys, let's try this McRib. All right. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. Mmm. You know what? It's surprisingly... That's way better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's surprisingly very ribby. It right? is. Like you've got a rib vibe. I, to be yeah. honest, I was like, mm, is this yeah. really going to taste like a rib? It I does. In there. Nope. Yeah, this thing is thing. ridiculous. Sauce is all over my hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's Ooh. crazy. Mm. No worries. Take your time. There you go. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, it's very ribby. The barbecue sauce is very good. It's very ribby. You said the same thing? <laughs> well, no, no. I was, I was just adding what you said. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't use that word usually. <laughs> the barbecue sauce is tangy, which is really good. And um, the onions and pickles add to it to make it really good. Is it tangy barbecue sauce? Do they use their normal barbecue sauce on this? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think okay. so. It tastes just like it. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Mmm. Wouldn't you say it's tangy? I can't even say that. Sure. I'm getting the sweetness vibe too, but I think it is the normal barbecue sauce. I'm pretty sure it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well. It's good. For never having it, I'm definitely shocked that I feel like not, not a lot of people talk about it. I mean, they talk about it, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, people talk about the Quarter Pounders and the Big Mac, but not many people talk about the McRib. It's good. Um... I don't have an, you know, I, I don't like love it, but I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's good. Mm. I like it. I mean. I don't know if I'd have it all the time, though. I do think it satisfies that, like, barbecue kind of. Vibe. Vibe. Yeah, mm -hmm. the craving. Got it. You know. craving it right now? Barbecue? Me, no. Oh. I'm just saying, like, if you want something that's <laughs> oh, meaty, it. you know, with some, and saucy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it does the job, you know? Exactly. It's good. It is good. I, I really do like it a lot. Yeah, I definitely think it's up there, you know? Mm. I mean, I get it. Like, I guess if you go to McDonald's, you really do want, like, a burger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Majority of the time. This is just, like, a nice little thing to get, you know, maybe from time to time. Mm -hmm. But it's only seasonal, so that's kind of a nice thing, I guess, if you think about it. I like the onions they put on it. If you're an onion fan, some people hate onions, so beware. Get those or take take it take those off if you don't like onions. But mm -hmm. I think it adds to it. Um, and the pickle it's mm -hmm. like a good crunch. 
um, you know, a little salty. Um, and the barbecue sauce I do think is their normal barbecue sauce that they have, which is a tangy, but also mm -hmm. a little sweet. Yeah, it yeah. is. I think it's delicious. I feel like you were shutting me down when I said it was tangy. Yeah, I was. Because I <laughs> tasted the sweet, but it is tangy. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh -huh. I'm just calling you out. Mm -hmm. Calling well, you out. No, it's all good. I just shut it down a little bit. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Mm. Mm. But, um... I would get it again, but I wouldn't get it all the time. I think one out of ten, I would give this probably a, uh, um, I'd give it a, it'd be up there. It'd probably be like a seven and a half or eight. Me too. Seven and a half or eight. Because cause the more I'm eating it, I'm like, ah, you know, it's cool. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. I don't really me? necessarily... Like, I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. <laughs> but it's not that kind of like, oh, I want to keep mm -hmm. eating it. It's hella good. Like The first bite was really good. Uh-huh. But, yeah. I feel like once you have a few bites of it, I'm kind of over it. Mm-hmm. Is that... But that's not the same with, like, a, a McChicken... Oh, I spit. Sorry. <laughs> a no McChicken <laughs> or, like, or, like, a burger. You know, you kind of keep wanting that. But this, I don't. Yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying. I like it, but you know what I mean? I know exactly what you're saying. Well, I, uh, I technically said it first. So. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, can I change the subject for a second? Okay, yeah. Let's, okay. Is that cool if we we'll talk, talk about, about this really quick? the real purpose of this video, no. Okay, well, we, we're making this video a little short, guys, because... So, about a month ago... Is it okay, or should we wait? No, talk about it. Okay, so about a month ago, literally a month ago, we ordered an elliptical so we could, you know, work out at the house and everything. And, um, you know, we order it and everything, and they ship it. But, you know, so we're watching the tracking and stuff like that. It's supposed to be there in, like, it was like a week and a half. Um, the day of, never showed up. Just didn't show up. And it said, it'll be there tomorrow or the next day. Don't worry. Wait two more days. Never showed up. It just just didn't for whatever reason. So I called Amazon. Amazon's like, hey, you got to call UPS. It's in their control. I go and I call UPS. And the person I spoke to was like, sorry. Um, oh, this is, by the way, the fast forward. This is on that that uh, last day that I was supposed to be there. So I'm supposed to come two days afterwards. It didn't. So I called on that last day uh, towards the evening time since it still hadn't shown up. And the lady was like, well, we can't talk to the driver, but it should be there at some point tonight. Never showed up. So I was like, OK, something's wrong. So I drive down to the carrier where it's supposed to be. I try to go inside and the guy's like, sorry, you can't come inside. Even, with, even though I had a mask on, he was like, right now because of COVID. And I was like, hey, I'm just looking for a package or something. I can't remember. Um... He wasn't helpful at all, mm -hmm. whatsoever. But I, I essentially wasn't able to go in. So I was like, all right, no big deal. I call Amazon, trying to like figure things out with them. But anyways, long story short, we never got it. We never got the elliptical, and we right? we ordered the elliptical, what would you say? Like three weeks it was, ago? It was like November, it was like December, it was like December 1st or the 2nd. Was it? Yeah. It was like December 1st or okay. the 2nd. It was about, a, yeah, maybe a month ago. Yeah. A little less. It was yeah, it was a little less, but it was about a month. So it never came. Jamil went down to UPS. They mm -hmm. were super unhelpful. Wouldn't let him in. Mm -hmm. Calling Amazon. Amazon basically is like, well, you know, they mm -hmm. couldn't really do anything. No, they didn't know where so, it's at. What we did was. How can you not get hold of the carrier though? Like the carrier should have a so number. When you say the carrier, what does that mean? It's the it's the facility where they actually store they receive the boxes before they give it to before you before they ship it out. Yeah, and you I'm like, why you didn't get a hold of them? It's stupid. So it's UPS. Though. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, all Amazon can do was cancel our order mm -hmm. and get a new one. Yep. And hope that the new one comes. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. Canceled the order, got a new one. We didn't have to pay again. Mm -hmm. They were just like, okay, whatever, you know. We had already paid. And it actually made it. The new one made it. Mm -hmm. On the day. <laughs> the new one arrived on mm -hmm. time. We set it up all as well. Mm -hmm. Well. Just today. Just like, today. 
like technically 10 minutes ago. Jamil got a call <laughs> from a stranger <laughs> in a completely different town than we yeah. live, but in the same county. Uh-huh. And basically the lady's like, hi, um, I have your package. Um, it had your name on it. It clearly has a different address than where I live. It has your address. Mm-hmm. Um, I looked you up in the white pages based off yep. of your name. I found your phone number. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's 120 pounds. Yep. Um, it's a big ass package. And she's yeah. like, come get it. Yeah, pretty much like, come get your shit. Oh, almost cussed. <laughs> She's like, come get your stuff. I'll bleep that out. She was nice. If I remember. But this is UPS. I guess just uh, today or yesterday. They dropped it off at a random house. At a random house in a completely different town. The numbers didn't match. The town didn't match. I'm like, what did you do? And she says, and she's like, your address is clearly on this box. Your address and your name (laughs) is clearly on this package. She's like, I have no idea why why Amazon brought it to my place. I wonder if like... The, I mean, the, come on. I know. I wonder if the driver, like, took it off the truck, thinking maybe this was it, drove it, you know, walked it all the way down, because it was 120 pounds, so he had to have a dolly, took it all the way down, realized when he got to the apartment that it wasn't the right one, and he was like, oh, well, they can't call us anyways. <laughs> it just dropped it off. So. Right? Yeah. Because, like, how am I going to get a hold of him anyways, right? I would, I mean... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'd be so, delivering packages left and right badly if I couldn't ever contact anyone, you know? So the lady who lives there also lives with her sister who's disabled. Yeah. And her disabled sister has a caregiver. Mm-hmm. The lady said that basically she wasn't home when it happened, but her yeah. her disabled sister was and the caregiver. She said the caregiver, who's this teeny tiny woman, dragged <laughs> this 120-pound, <laughs> six-foot-long box into the apartment and I don't know how, how she, she did, did it. it. Yeah. And so basically they have this huge thing mm-hmm. sitting in their living room. <laughs> and she's like, uh, yeah, come get it. So basically yeah. we don't have a truck yeah. to, to get it. We need to call UPS and have them pick that up from yeah. her apartment and bring yeah. it over to it the off. correct address that it says on the box. Yeah, because that's just, I mean, come on, guys. So anyways, just... we're a little distracted. Yeah, because yeah. Because that just happened. Literally right before we car bonged, uh, that lady called. She was very sweet. Exactly. So, I, I mean, the other option is, like, I might rent a U-Haul and try to get it or something. Because I feel terrible that she's, it's just like sitting in her house. The thing's huge. <laughs> Just, it's yeah. huge. <laughs> it's ridiculously huge. So, so yeah. When we can, yes. So if bad. UPS ref- does not pick it up, of course we'll get a U-Haul. And, yeah, and, and get it out and of there. get it. You know, but we should get reimbursed. Oh, we're getting reimbursed from getting reimbursed. for buying a U-Haul or renting a U-Haul. Yeah, we're getting reimbursed for sure because that's that's not gonna. I mean, come on, like somebody's got to be accountable for that. I mean, that's you guys, crazy. It's a completely different town. <laughs> like, well, thank, thank goodness. Like miles it's away our, from us, too. Like, it's 10 in our miles. County, but yeah. it's it's just a completely different address. <laughs> the, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, and this lady apparently lives in an apartment. And you yeah. can just imagine. It's not a big house. Like, obviously, it's an apartment. You can imagine <sighs> how much space that big box I know. is taking. Yeah. I feel so bad. Like, I, if I, we could get it now, I would. Yeah. We got to figure that out, stat. But anyways, we're about to call UPS. Yeah, and we got to figure out out, what to do. Yeah. Anyways. It's crazy. It's Mm. crazy. So. Well, but the good news... Oh, what were we going to say? I was going to say back to me. I was going to say, the good news is the McRib was good. We liked it. (laughs) It was good. We ate it. I don't want it again. Yeah. But it was okay. Yeah, to be honest... I think it was like a seven. Seven out of ten. I don't know why that's the case, but I don't want it again either. Mm -hmm. I give it a seven out of ten. Yeah. But nothing's like wrong with it. Yeah. The it's, it's just good. it's just it's good. Yeah. That's it. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't mm-hmm. say it's like special. It's just good. Mm-hmm. It's good. Okay. Yeah, but apparently people love it because they bring it back like all the time. But it's seasonal, right? Like if you had it all the time, you probably wouldn't love it as much. You probably you know what mm. I mean? Like the fact that it's a seasonal thing. Okay. You try you probably get it one time a year, you're like, Oh, this is you know, this is my day. I can maybe say it. Yeah, I see that. Uh-huh. <laughs> For know? sure. I don't know. Okay, you guys. So, anyways, we're going to deal with the whole package yeah. situation. Yeah. Just, I feel like this was just a crazy review. It's just because we weren't talking about it. <laughs> the, the McRib? Yeah. We did. Okay, we did. We did a great review. And then we moved on. Yeah. We talked about the sauciness of it. <laughs> we talked about the ribby of, rib, ribbiness of it. It was very ribby. <laughs> it was very ribby. It was very ribby. <laughs> exactly. It tasted like a rib. We explained there were pickles and onions on it. <laughs> we did a great review. <laughs> and it was good. Okay? <laughs> Not great. 
but good. Just remember that. <laughs> I hope you guys is 2021. Yes. New Year is going great so far. Absolutely. And um, we're going to see you guys tomorrow for another video. All right, you guys. Chris is going to do her outro because I think she forgot. Don't forget to <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share. Share it as Carrie. Let your friends and family know what the Kate and JFam are doing. And until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is, and we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Ah, peace out, Charles.